Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Anirudha, call sign VU3FML. In this video, we are going to talk about the easiest and cost-free way of using DMR. With this method, you would be able to use DMR using just your mobile phone. No other hardware or equipment would be necessary. By using this method, you can decide for yourself if you are staying interested in this type of communication or not. If you find it interesting after using it for a while, you can go ahead and buy the necessary equipment like DMR radio, a hotspot, etc. By now, you must have realized what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an Android application called as the Droid Star, which is available at the Play Store. But what are the steps involved in using Droid Star? Let's see one by one. To start using this, you need to have an amateur radio license. The amateur radio license is a prerequisite for obtaining a DMR ID, which will be required for you to use the DMR network. We need to register at one of the popular networks of the DMR, for example, Brandmeister. We need to configure at the Brandmeister website, especially a hotspot security password. We need to install the Droidstar application from the Play Store. We need to configure and test the Droidstar application. And the last step is to subscribe to this channel if you like the content. Let's see each of these steps one by one. Assuming you have a valid amateur radio license, the next step is to obtain a DMR ID. You can obtain the DMR ID by going to the website called as radioid.net and pressing sign up. After reading the terms and conditions, you can click the checkbox here and click on register account. Here you need to enter your call sign, an email ID, a password, and your country. After clicking the checkbox here, you can press on create account. An email will be sent to your inbox, which will contain a link to verify your email account. Once your email ID has been verified, you can log in to your account using your call sign and the password you set up in the earlier step. Here you can see your details. Here you can see that uh, the email ID was verified. You would have to upload your amateur radio license in this step for them to verify it. Once it is verified, you will see the status here as verified. The overall status would be then approved. You can go to the database section here and click on DMR user ID search. Here you can put your call sign and press search. Here you can see the radio ID, which is nothing but the DMR ID against your call sign. In this way, you can put anyone else's call sign over here and check for their DMR ID. You can also put the name of your city here and press search. You will get a list which shows the DMR users and their IDs against their call signs from your city. Once a DMR ID has been allocated to you, you will get 
an email which confirms it. So this is the way of obtaining a DMR ID. Once you get your DMR ID, you need to register yourself on one of the most popular uh, networks, which is called as the Brandmeister. You can go to the website called brandmeister.network and click register as shown here. Here you need to enter your call sign, your email address. You can click personal user account. You can decide on a password. You have to confirm the password. Here you have to answer the question, what is the wavelength of the UHF band in centimeters? If you are an amateur radio operator, you will have no problem in answering this question. Here you should enter your DMR ID, which uh, you obtained in the earlier step. You can click here and then register. Now, an email will be sent to your email ID. You need to click the link given in that email to verify this email account. Once uh, your email account has been verified, a representative of Brandmeister will activate your account. Once uh, that has been done, you can log in to your account. Here you see you have been logged in. You can go to the first section called as a profile. Here you can upload your photograph. Here you can see your DMR ID against your call sign. The next section is profile settings. Here you can see that your email ID has been confirmed. And you can change your login passwords over here. The set third section is called as the self-care, which is the most important. Here you can see the brand. I have selected Chinese radio for this purpose. The language as English, my call sign and the DMR ID, which gets autofilled. Now the important part is the hotspot security. You need to turn it on. And you have to decide a password. Now I recommend you use the same password that you used for your login. This is just to avoid any confusion. Having a single password will help us. So this is how you register yourself at Brandmeister Network. And here you enter the hotspot security password which will be used in configuring, configuring the Droid Star application. The next step is to install the Droid Star application into your mobile phone. You can go to Play Store and search for Droid Star. This is an early access version. Uh, which is meant for testing purpose. So you can install this and then the next step would be to configure it. Once you install and open the Droid Star application, you will see the main screen. Here you can select the mode as DMR, the host as a BM3104 United States, Talk group ID as 91 to start with. If you go to the settings section, here you need to put in your call sign, the DMR ID, the ESS ID I have put as none because I have no other hotspot. Enter the Brandmeister password. This is the hotspot security password. If you remember, we made the login password and the hotspot 
security password as one and the same. So you need to enter it here. For the time being, ignore the TGIF password. This is another network for which I have subscribed and this is the password for that. Right now we can ignore this. Enter the latitude and longitude of your location. Enter the name of your location over here. You need to press update ID files and update host. If you go to the log section, here you can see that these files are getting updated. Now the important part is that your DMR ID should be updated in the DMR IDs dot that file. This happens automatically and you don't have to do anything about it. You just need to press the update ID files. Now, when you press connect, you will see that this toggle button gets a name TX. Here you can see that you are connected to the host. Now, in order to start communication, you need to press TX once for a short period of time and deactivate it. This will connect you to the talk group 91 and the communication will start. Now, when I installed this application and tried to connect to the host, I got this error. It says that a valid call sign and DMR ID are required to use dude star. I don't know what that is on any mode and they must match. If you have entered a valid DMR ID that matches the entered call sign and you are still seeing this message, then you either have to click update ID files button or wait until your DMR ID is added to the ID file and try again. So I had done everything correctly and I guess I got this error message is because of the last point that they mention here that I need to wait until my DMR ID is added to the ID file and try again. Another way to know if everything is correct is to go to the Brandmeister site again and log in. And here under my hotspots, you should see your DMR ID with a green icon. This means that you are connected and everything is okay. So that's it. This is what's required uh, to be done to start using Droid Star. I will close uh, this video with a video of the Droid Star in action. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have liked the video, please give a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, I request you to please subscribe. This gives me a great motivation to come up with more content. Thank you very much.